Hi, I'm Sarah Fender, the founder and executive director of The Caring Closet. So I'd say The Closet is a place where we can give dignity to those in need um, that don't necessarily have the courage to ask for help um, or are in a place of needing help for the first time in their lives. So my husband and I adopted our son at birth and we got matched with a birth mom out of Texas and she was placing Sam for adoption due to not being able to care for him um, financially or otherwise. And it showed me the side of poverty that I've never seen before. So when Sam was about 18 months, I started volunteering with UMFS on campus. Um, I just felt the need to get back in some way and I became a room parent at the Charterhouse School and I did that for about eight or nine years. Um, and I started collecting clothes for the kids that needed um, clothes. These were kids that were living in the residential care and they didn't always have the things that their peers had or um, you know, the basic necessities. So I started collecting clothes and shoes out of my garage. And then the church heard what I was doing, the church I was going to at the time, and they said, hey, will you help serve some of the other groups we serve on campus? So we started serving um, Caritas and Fresh Start, and then it outgrew my garage. I actually came to UMFS and we had a conversation, you know, could this be something that's sustainable and could we put it on the campus? And at that time, there really just wasn't any physical space. So that's when it moved to my church. Um, we've had a couple other locations, some free, some we paid rent. The CEO, Nancy, when this building came available, reached out and said, hey, would you like to put a small closet in this building um, to help serve our various programs? Because we serve all programs that um, UMFS has. We decided um, over the years, we've had different discussions, both between the board and the managers, um, that we didn't want to be put in a position where we needed to decide whether someone was worthy of getting clothes from us or not. So we decided that if you were an organization, a program, a church, a school, an individual, and you were asking us for clothes, and then no um, questions asked, we would provide clothes um, for you and your organization. So we just really felt at home with UMFS and how um, passionate they were about the kids they served and the families they served in the community. And the closet is the same way. And in fact, I think I've kind of, you know, unconsciously developed the closet's passion and philosophies and missions and visions along the same lines that will serve those that need help. Um, we won't question the help. Um, and, you know, together we're fulfilling a passion that we all have, which is, is to serve. So I was on campus one day and I ran into a staff person, a long-term staff person, and she knew my family. So she asked me if we had any clothes that maybe my son Jack had grown out of. And I said, yeah, of course. Um, but did, I asked her if she knew about the partnership with Caring Closet. And she did, but she also said she needed it immediately because this child came with really nothing. So I said, sure, and I ran home and I got the clothes and I, I gave it to, to the staff person. And I started to look around campus and look at the vacant buildings that we had and thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if we had a donation closet right on campus? Rather than reinventing the wheel, we decided to call Sarah and see if she would be interested in moving her operations onto the UMFS campus. Partnering with UMFS is really gonna take us to the next level, and we've already seen that in some ways. Um, UMFS is a long established, very large, respected uh, nonprofit that has uh, locations throughout the state. And just the fact that they're supporting us uh, with this building and, the, and, taking, and taking a chance on us to take that partnership to the next level has really lended us some additional credibility. You know, fast forward a few months, we've renovated the building and now we're here on the campus. So I feel like 
the Caring Closet story has come full circle. It's why it was started and now, you know, 12, 13, 14 years later, we're actually home. One of our core values is passion unleashes greatness. And Sarah Fender exudes that. As a result, Caring Closet provides the best. And that's what we want for our kids. We want them to have this quality experience and feel like they can get clothes that they feel proud to wear. And that's what they bring to us. And we are so grateful.